Hello, citizens of Citizenship Roadmap. Ready to ace your U.S. citizenship interview with confidence? Today, we're bringing you crucial updates on the new N-400 form and what to expect during your interview. Imagine you're a senior applicant sitting across from an immigration officer who meticulously reviews your N-400 form. The officer doesn't just stop there, expect some friendly small talk, yes-no questions, and word definitions thrown into the mix. These types of questions are quite common and could very well appear in your interview too. So, gear up, practice thoroughly, and make sure you're fully prepared for your big day. Let's dive into this preparation session on Citizenship Roadmap. Stay tuned for essential insights, tips, and more to help you navigate the USCIS citizenship interview with ease. Remember, practice makes perfect. Good morning, how can I assist you today? Good morning, I'm here for my citizenship interview. Can I have your appointment letter and ID, please? Sure, here they are. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you have your green card with you? Yes, I do. Here it is. Great, thank you. Let me check your information in our system. Okay, great. Here are your appointment letter and your ID, and here is your waiting number as well. Thank you. Please have a seat as we will call your name or your number when your appointment is ready. Thank you again. You're welcome and good luck on your interview. P18 Mrs. Regina Elizabeth Jimena. Yes, it's me. Good morning, Mrs. Jimena. I am Officer Brandy and I am glad to conduct your citizenship interview today. How are you? Good morning, Officer Brandy. I'm a bit nervous but doing well, thank you. There's no need to be nervous. We're here to help. Please follow me. Let's start by verifying your identity. Can you please provide me with your USCIS appointment letter, green card, and any other identification you have? Of course, here are my documents. Thank you. Mrs. Jimena, feel free to place your belongings next to your chair and raise your right hand before you sit down. I need to place you under oath. Do you swear to tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Excellent. Please have a seat. Thank you. Do you know what kind of promise you just made? Yes, I promise to tell the truth. Okay, as a part of the naturalization process, there are a couple of things I need to do before the interview. It'll just take a few minutes. I need to take your picture and scan your fingerprints right here. Can you please move one step closer and look at the camera in front of you? Sure.
All right. Now can you please place your right index finger on the scanner? Good. Now your left index finger please. Okay. Let me check. Everything is perfect. How's your day going so far? I am nervous before coming here, but I am doing fine now. Thanks for asking. How about yourself? I am doing well, thank you. How is the weather outside? It is nice today. How did you get here this morning? My son took a day off and drove me here. Is he waiting for you now? Yes, he is waiting for me at car parking area. Okay. First, I will examine the N-400 application form to ensure its accuracy. Following that, we will proceed with the civics test, as well as the English reading and writing tests. Any questions before we commence? No, officer. Can you please state your full name? My full name is Regina Elizabeth Jimena. Can you spell your last name? X-I-M-E-N-A What is your middle name? That is Elizabeth. And Regina is your first name, correct? Yes, officer. Is this the same name on your green card? Yes, it is. And have you used any other names? No. On the application it says you don't want to change your name, is that correct? Yes, officer. I want to keep my current name. How did you obtain your green card? My son sponsored me. When did you become a lawful permanent resident? Since April 16, 2014. Perfect. Now, let's move on to your residence. Do you still live in the same place since you've applied for citizenship? Yes, I do. What is your current address? 6735 Heritage Street, Houston, Texas 77022. Do you have a different mailing address? No. The mailing address is the same as my current physical address. How long have you been living there? Since May 2019. Your previous address was 8454 Vine Arbor Street, Houston, Texas, 77033, is that correct? Yes, officer, that is correct. Good. What is your current marital status? I am widowed. My husband passed away in June 2016. I'm sorry to hear that. Was that your only marriage? Yes, that was the only one. What was his name? Joshua Abraham. 
Did you bring his death certificate and your marriage certificate? Yes, officer. Here they are. What is your phone number? It's 2839446293. Can you verify your social security number? Sure. That is 747-95-3967. Do you have any physical or developmental disabilities that prevent you from understanding of English language? No. Great. Now, let's discuss your employment. Are you currently employed? No, I retired in 2015. Congratulations on your retirement. What type of work did you do during your career? I was a teacher for 35 years, mostly teaching history and English. That's impressive, Mrs. Jimena. How tall are you? I'm 5 feet and 4 inches. How much do you weigh? I'm 137 pounds. Now, can you tell me your date of birth? I was born on February 15, 1967. Wonderful. And where were you born? I was born in Mexico. Are you still a citizen of that country? Yes, officer. All right. Do you have any children? Yes, just one son. What's his name? Javier Victor. Where was he born? He was born in Mexico. Okay. Let's discuss the times you were not in the U.S. On your application, it shows you went outside the U.S. twice in the last five years. Yes, officer. Please share details about those trips. Where did you go, and how long were each of them? In May 2017, I visited my brother and relatives in Mexico for four weeks. The second trip was a vacation with my son. And that was on March in 2018. We went on a cruise and stopped in Italy, Spain, and France, totaling 20 days. Have you made any international trips since you applied? No, I haven't. Now, let's move on to the civics test. I'll ask you some questions about U.S. history and government. Did you study for the civics test? Yes, I have prepared few months ago and my son also helped me to practice for the interview. What version of the civics test did you study? I studied 2008 version. That's the correct one. Great. I'm going to ask you up to 10 questions and you need to get 6 correct to pass. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Great. Let's begin. 
Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. When was the Constitution written? The Constitution was written in 1787. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? Sorry, officer. Can you say that again? Sure. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776. Can you name one of the writers of the Federalist Papers? James Madison. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves. Why did the colonists came to America? The colonists came to America for religious freedom and economic opportunities. Great! You got six correct and passed the civics test. Thank you. Now, let's move on to the English reading and writing part. I'll ask you to read a sentence and write another one. Please read the sentence on the tablet. What is the rule of law? Excellent. Now, using the stylus pen, write the sentence, The Bill of Rights protects our freedoms. Very well done, Mrs. Jimena. Now, let's move on to the N-400 application questions. Have you been a member of any guerrilla or rebel group, vigilante militia, or insurgent organization? No. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No, never. Can you explain what prostitute means? Someone who sells sex. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local elections in the United States? No, never. Have you ever been involved in any way with forcing someone to have any kind of sexual contact or activity? No. What is forcing? To pressure someone into doing something they don't want to do. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No, never. Have you ever married more than one person at the same time? No, never. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, never. Do you obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. Have you ever been a member of, or involved in, world communism? No, never. Do you know what communism is? 
A political system in which the state controls everything. Have you ever registered to vote or voted in any U.S. election? No, never. Have you ever participated in causing harm or suffering to any person because of their race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No, never. Have you ever worked for or been a part of any group, unit, or organization that committed genocide? No, never. What is an organization? A group of people that work together. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No, never. Have you ever been a member of, or associated with, any organization, group, or club that advocates violence or unlawful behavior? No, I haven't. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? No. Have you ever had any title of nobility or hereditary title in a foreign country? No, never. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No, never. Have you called yourself a non US resident on any tax returns since you got your green card? No. Have you helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No, never. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Have you ever persecuted any person because of religion, race, political opinion, or national origin? No, never. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No, never. What does misrepresentation mean? To lie. Since you have your green card, have you always filed your taxes? Yes, I have. Were you ever involved in any way with badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No, never. Have you ever sold or provided any weapon to any person? No. Have you ever married someone to get immigration benefits? No, never. Do you support the Constitution and form of government in the United States? Yes, I do. How about performing works of national importance under civilian direction? I am willing to do that. Tell me an example of how you're willing to help. I will help the Red Cross distribute food and water to the people during an earthquake. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the U.S.? Yes. Are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. armed forces? 
Yes. Are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. Thank you for your responses. Now, is there anything else you would like to add or clarify before we conclude the interview? No, Officer Brandy. I believe I've provided all the necessary information. Please review all the information on the tablet one more time to make sure everything is accurate. If everything is correct, please print your name, sign, and date. Okay, everything looks good. Now please read the Oath of Allegiance. Make sure you agree to all the statements. Thank you, Mrs. Jimena. You've done well in the interview. Based on our conversation, your knowledge of U.S. history and government, and your ability to read and write in English, I am recommending your approval for U.S. citizenship. Thank you so much, Officer Brandy. I'm truly grateful for this opportunity. Congratulations, Mrs. Jimena. You've passed the tests and the interview. Here's a copy of your test results. Thank you. Now we can administer the oath. That's great. Please stand up and raise your right hand and repeat after me. I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely. I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely. Renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity. Renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity. To any foreign prince, potentate, state, or sovereignty. To any foreign prince, potentate, state, or sovereignty. Of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. Of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. That I will support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. That I will support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. Against all enemies foreign and domestic. Against all enemies foreign and domestic. That I bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law. That I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law. That I will perform non-competent service in the armed forces of the United States when required by the law. That I will perform non-competent service in the armed forces of the United States when required by the law. That I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by the law. That I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by the law. And that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation. And that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion so help me God. Or purpose of evasion so help me God. Congratulations. From now you are an official U.S. citizen. Thank you, officer. I can give you back your paperwork but I must keep your green card. Thank you. I am going to print your certificate of naturalization. It will take some time to print. So you please wait at the waiting area. 
After receiving your certificate of naturalization make sure to check it for accuracy. Before you sign it and just sign it with a black ink pen. Okay. Please update your social security status and you should also register to vote. Surely, I'll do. And if you plan to travel outside of the US you will need to apply for a passport. Thank you. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask. Welcome to US Citizenship, Mrs. Jimena. Thank you, Officer Brandy. I'm honored.